hey guys well, welcome to my channel i am adrian renee if you are new here welcome if you're not new here what's up long time no see so um i haven't recorded in about or let's say i've recorded but i haven't uploaded a video in about two months you know i'm saying i haven't recorded or i haven't uploaded a video in about two months um it's been a minute i can't exactly i don't remember exactly when but i know it's probably been about two months so i decided i was gonna come on the camera and kind of I guess give a life update which is not really a life update but it's more or less me just kind of like realizing a lot of things that have been going on over the past year and a half because my baby has turned two by now so I have a whole two year old but me just realizing literally I realized when I tell y'all I had this epiphany like three days ago and so I just feel a lot better than I thought I felt like I felt like I was doing great or as good as I could be doing considering the circumstances um but a couple days ago I, I really realized oh you were not doing great and now you are though not, like now you're better so I decided that I would come on just a quick little life update um and then hopefully I'll start uh editing and recording more videos and we'll get this show back on the road so if you're interested in hearing a little life update um then stay tuned um this hair is from a company that i don't remember their name right now but that will be down in the description box as well um and yeah i um appreciate you guys and let's get into this life update So if you know me, you know, if you don't know me, you don't. And actually, even those people that do know me might not know. But I did um, end up having to move back to Kansas City uh, Memorial Day or around Memorial, it was like the day before Memorial Day 2022. My landlord in Chicago decided to tell me in May that he wasn't renewing my lease and that I needed to get out within like a couple months um, because his daughter wanted to move into the unit. Mind you, the daughter was the one who showed me the unit who said I wish I could afford this unit. So I feel like I just paid rent for a year for her to be able to live there without paying rent. I don't know, that ain't none of my business. But nonetheless, um, with that happening and me not being aware that that was gonna happen in the previous job that I had that was a pay decrease seriously um i decided that because i do have a whole child that it was in our best interest that we moved back to kansas city because i knew i could find a place here within my um income range and it would be okay so like i said um the day before memorial day we moved back to kansas city um, I now live in the Westport area. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Sorry. But nonetheless, I live in the Westport area and um, it's a cute little, it's a cute little apartment. I think I did like a empty house, empty, empty apartment walk through tour or something. I don't know. If I did, I'll link it. It'll be somewhere right here. So nonetheless, that happened. Um, again, if you know me, you know I did not want to move back to Kansas City. That was like the last thing I wanted to do ever. But I felt like I didn't have another option, even though hindsight is 2020, I could definitely could have stayed in Chicago. But you know, God, God, God does what God does, and I do what God tells me to do. So we're in Kansas City. Um, baby adjusted really well. Um, mommy didn't, <laughs> but baby adjusted really well. So let's take it back even a little further. So um those that I'm, I'm gonna keep saying this throughout this video obviously that's the thing those that know know those that don't don't i just, sorry so anywho those that know prior to me having my daughter i lost all the weight that i was trying to lose i was chef's kiss in my opinion on the size that i was and the size that i was happy with and i was fully comfortable in this body or in that body and then i got pregnant I felt like she was a little baby parasite. Um, she's still greedy to this day. 
and she, it, it seems like she's gonna be very similar to my mom in the fact that like she could eat whatever she wanted and didn't doesn't gain necessary weight um i never had that gene again those that don't know i was a chubby little kid i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't like chubby chubby because i was tall but chubby nonetheless <laughs> so um when i was pregnant i gained all my way back plus some um, I think I gained around 100 pounds. And then by the time that I popped her out, cause she was standing right here, sorry. I, you can't see me pointing, but I was pointing. <laughs> um, by the time I popped her out, I was right at the 100 mark of weight gain. And then I gave birth by her, what is that? Like they have a, is that a six week checkup? A three week checkup? Two week, I don't know. By the time she had to go get her checkup though, Oh no, it was my six week checkup. That's what it was. By the time I was at the six week checkup, I had lost either 30 or 40 pounds just already. So that was perfect. That was right on track for what we were trying to do. Um, and then again, those that know, no, those that don't, check out the video. Um, my mom unexpectedly passed away when she was six months old. Or she wasn't even six months, she was five months old. Yeah, because she was born in July and my mom passed that following January. I'm, oh, wow. Yeah. So, that was like completely unexpected. What, what the H? What's going on, Lord? Like, where are we doing this at? But thankfully, I did have my baby, so I was able to maneuver through that. Or so I thought. <laughs> so, lost my mom. Was taking care of my baby full time, was living in an apartment that was infested and they didn't do anything about it. Um, was just a super traumatic experience all around, all across the board. And so that's when I made the decision again, those that don't know, those that don't know, um, that I was gonna come back here. So I was here in January, I stayed for I think until February. Yay! And then I went back to Chicago. And then I came back here because uh, I don't remember why I had to come back here, but nonetheless, I had to come back here. So I just stayed for a minute. Um, I think I was ordering furniture or something for the new place or whatever. I don't know, but anywho, so we came back here. Um, I didn't move out of that place because it was, a, if you move out early, yada, 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 that was a whole nother hot mess in itself. So we're not going to talk about that because it has nothing to do with what I'm trying to touch on today. So anywho, came back here for like six months then went back to Chicago and was there from then to May of this year so um at the time I wasn't like I was I was I was at the very beginning when my mom first passed I was I, I lost I lost weight again because yeah um but then as I was processing through it and dealing with it and still working full-time being a mom full-time and having to deal with this um, the situation of one being in Kansas City for that period of time that I was here and then finally going back to Chicago and being back in a space that was considered quote unquote my happy place. Um, over time I just, I started to, I don't know, I don't know, but I was literally eating everything under the sun. I wouldn't stop eating, like I was constantly ordering food, constantly eating out, just doing a lot of things that had I been the size that I was, could have done. It would have been fine. It would have been a big deal. But being the size I already was, post baby and then doing this, yielded me to look like this. Which, I mean, I'm still cute, but that's not the point. So, I wasn't, for whatever reason, I kept telling myself, no, you know, just stop eating so much, do this, do that, do intermittent fasting, etc., etc., blah, blah, blah. And it wasn't working. Like my, like I couldn't stick to it. I, I couldn't. Like I tried so hard, and then I felt like I was starving to death. So then I would eat, and then I would binge, and it was really annoying. I was mentally drained. Love my baby to death, but I was tired. Um, but then at the same time, I didn't want nobody take my baby, hold me. I didn't. I just. It was a mess. Okay, it was a mess. I mean. Part of that's still true. Like I still don't want nobody really touching my kid and and holding her, and I don't trust people to watch her. So that's that's still that's still fact. But that's just me. That has nothing to do with the um, traumaticness of it. That's not a word, but we're gonna use it. 
So nonetheless, I was just kind of going through the motions, thought I was okay, was telling everyone I was okay because I mean, I, I thought I was okay. Um, but every time I thought about it, I'm like, it never takes me this long to lose weight. Like, I haven't been this big. I've never been this big in my life. But then, even when I was at my biggest, when I actually tried to lose weight, I lost the weight. And then I kept it off for years and years and years until I had this baby. But then it's like, but I don't even blame her. It was really the passing of my mom unexpectedly that just kind of dominoed this whole mess of me just gaining and gaining and gaining weight and looking at myself like what the hell and then it's like oh well I'm already this big might as well keep eating but it's like no <laughs> like no that's not that's not what we're trying to do especially because then it's like I can't fit in my clothes I look like an oompa I don't want to go anywhere I don't want to do anything but then also because I am a parent getting up doing things playing with my child loving on her educating her doing as much as I can again she's two I mean so you know but still like not allowing myself to completely recluse even though I really wanted to like I just wanted to sit in the corner and do nothing but just like my mom passed I couldn't do it then I can't do it now and that's fine like God gives his what what does he say God gives his strongest battles or hardest battles to his strongest soldiers I'll take that all day every day so it was just me like sitting here just like just going through the motions literally so then I ended up gaining more weight I ended up gaining more weight and now I, let's see my goal weight or the weight that I was completely happy with which everyone tried to make it seem like I was too skinny which that ain't got nothing to do with me um was like between 182 198 like solid like any numbers in between there I'm good and actually all in sense pictures when I was so cute oh god so cute again still cute face card still valid but foolish okay <laughs> so nonetheless um that's that was like my go wait so i swear like a couple days ago i was sitting there and i'm like why can't mind you i have a master's in counseling psychology so i'm like why can't i lose this weight like this is ridiculous like it's never taken me this long to lose weight why can't i stop eating why blah blah, blah. and i don't know i don't know what happened but somewhere in that revelation three days ago was a oh <laughs> when i'm constantly telling people about things being more mental than physical and emotional and all that like it's literally in your head right so in my head i'm sitting here and like i said this has a lot to do with my mom's passing and i'm realizing that now didn't realize it a year ago and i should have realized it that i wouldn't be this big now but it's okay we're we own it we gonna get this weight off by Christmas holla at me so anywho I realized that I had this like I had like and again I got I got OCD problems I got ADHD problems I got anxiety problems I have a lot of different problems or issues or concerns um but because of that I tend to over plan um in everything right like if i'm gonna tell somebody something okay how could they react these are like the 40 different scenarios that they could do so as long as i've prepared for one of these i'm good so my 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 life was planned out my life was prior to my mother passing my life for the next 10 years was planned out like from top to bottom like this is what i was gonna do this is what was happening etc 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 and if you know you know if you don't you don't but my mom was moving to Chicago like she had sold her house like it was done she just hadn't moved out and into Chicago yet so you know what I'm saying so it's like like I had my everything was planned everything was set up everything was done like I didn't have to think about it it was just like okay we're just gonna do this and then we're gonna do this and then we're gonna do that and clearly we know that God Jesus the Holy Spirit laughs at our plans like chuckles hysterically at us when we think that we're planning something and I mean obviously I'm not laughing they're crying they were cracking up okay and so it was when I when I when I had that realization that my entire life has been planned out like it was planned and then that occurred and then going to now I never realized that like I like I knew it but then really thinking about okay my life has been planned out for the past five ten years 
and that was it wasn't just my life it wasn't just my baby's life it was me my mom and my baby's life like our lives were planned out for the next 10 years and when I realized that and then I realized she's not here so when I like my my life plan is gone <laughs> like it's gone like none of that none of what I thought was happening because it was our life is happening none of it none of it because everything was surrounded around me my baby and my mom and now that my mom's not there it's just me and my baby and now I have to come up with an entirely different plan because everything in my life from five to ten years from now had my mom in it she was a pivotal part of it and so realizing that coming to that realization made me then realize okay we gotta you know we gotta sit down and we have to figure out what are we doing now because she's not coming back i wish i wish <laughs> but she's not coming back like god makes no mistakes so you know it was it was her time and i had my baby to you know hug on me and kiss on me and look just like my mom so and act just like her too which is a good or bad thing it's not bad it's never bad it's just very interesting <laughs> um but nonetheless coming to that realization that i literally have to replan my life like it's like i didn't realize it but i internalized it super hard to the point where i wasn't able to stop eating i wasn't able to think clearly i was literally just going day to day through the motions just in autopilot just trying to get through the day so i could sit there and do nothing basically at the end of it, or at the bare minimum and once i realized that i then realized that me being able to lose this weight is all mental it's it's me realizing that I'm stronger than I think I am, even though obviously I am, I've made it this far. <laughs> but realizing that, acknowledging, like acknowledging my plan, my life plan, the life plan that I have for me, my mom and my daughter for the next five to 10 years, gone. <laughs> and that might sound, I don't know, that might sound a way to some people, but for me, it's like, it is what it is, right? But it's gone. Like nothing that I had planned, Z zero of what I had planned in my life is happening now. Now I have to find a new path, a new track that just involves me and my daughter because I don't have my mom. Or she, of course, she's, she's, she's here with me in spirit always, but she's not here physically to be able to be there. In, in, in whatever capacity that I may have needed her to be there in she's not she's gone so once I realized that I was then able to realize that this this weight gain this inability to lose weight everything was um was all on that like it had everything to do with that like me struggling so hard and then realizing that the food was my comfort realizing that when I'm stressed I don't eat and obviously through grief that's all I want to do because I need that comfort um allowed me to then be able to come up with a plan like okay we gotta lose this weight because I'm the only parent that my baby has well in Jesus and I need to be here for her I need to set a good example for her me being this big even though I'm tall is not a good example I don't want to be able to look at me and ever think that it's okay to be this big, like ever in life, because it's not for me, okay? Because it's not healthy for me. So anybody that feels any type of way about that comment, sorry, it's we're not talking about you, I'm talking about me. Me personally, I'm not comfortable in this body. I don't want to be this big. This has never been a happy place for me. No matter what clothes I put on, I'm not going to like it. Like I applaud. I was talking to my cousin the other day about that because she was making a comment about there's a whole bunch of beautiful big women. And I'm like, yeah, and I'm not one of them. Like I'm cute. Again, base card valid, but I can never be confident or comfortable because I'm, I'm cute. So I'm confident. But I can never be comfortable being this big. Like, it's just not for me. Like, no matter, again, no matter what clothes I wear or anything, like, I'm still, like, I might walk out the door and you might think I'm confident, but on the inside, I'm disgusted. And so, obviously, we know, you know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again. 
So what do I need to change? What needs to shift? So first, mentally, it shifted. I, it clicked for me to realize why I was having so much difficulty honing back all the eating that I was doing. So that clicked, so we're good. Um, me realizing that all my plans are out the window. Mind you, and have been out the window for a year and a half. But it just took me till yeah. about a couple of days ago to realize it, to acknowledge it, sorry, not to realize it, but to acknowledge it, to then realize, okay, now I gotta do something different. We gotta shake some things up. So I'm currently in the process of coming up with a new life plan, which I, one of those plans hasn't changed, which is me being a homeowner by the age of 35 in a completely different state, which if you know, you know, if you don't, you don't, sorry. But that hasn't changed. And me homeschooling, homeschooling my daughter hasn't changed. Um, and me not putting her in daycare hasn't changed. Um, but what has changed is I feel like I never, I never wanted to be an entrepreneur. I never wanted to be like, I was cool f with working for the man and not even the man, but you know, working for other people, I was fine with that. But also realizing like, mm, that's not really what I want to do because that's not going to give me the flexibility that I need in my life now. Um, especially not having my mom, not having my main support system. I don't have that flexibility anymore to be like, oh, well, I could do this and my mom got me. Or I could do that and my mom has the baby. Or I can do, you know, I don't, I don't have that flexibility anymore. So, which is fine. It's cool. But it's different. Um, like I said, never expected to lose my mom anytime soon at all and it's been about a year and a half and i don't know how i'm making it but by the grace of god okay um so again just just some things that i'm just realizing like okay yeah like i don't i have a i, have, I do have a master in counseling we've talked about that twice so far um but do i want to go into private practice god no because then you have lost you could have malpractice suits and i don't want that drama right um so at, at this point i'm just kind of trying to figure out what it is that I enjoy doing. I enjoy doing this. Um, I enjoy doing my Therapy Thursdays or uh, Transparency th Tuesdays or whichever way I do it on whatever Tuesday or Thursday. Um, I enjoy doing that. Um, and just really, honestly, just getting back to me and realizing, okay, what, did it, what is it that I enjoy doing? Because I feel like oftentimes I do things for everybody else. I still do that to this day just a lot less um I've cut off a lot of different people in my life just because I felt like they weren't adding value to it they were just kind of bringing me down um again my own personal feelings it's not necessarily anything that they specifically did in the period of time in which I cut them off it was really just over time like you know when you sit there and you're thinking about life and it's like damn <laughs> just me you know so um yeah but i'm i am i don't want to say excited because i'm i'm not uh i look forward to what um the future holds for me for my baby for our life um i look forward to seeing what is going to transpire in the next six months um i look forward to being back in a place where I was genuinely happy, which again, not depressed or anything like that, guys. I was, we talked, that's in another video. Or maybe that video didn't post, I don't remember. But um, again, I feel like I'm just going through the motions, right? Well, not anymore. For the last couple of days, we've been on it and I'm really excited. And that gives me motivation to keep going. God is good, I'm blessed, I'm so blessed, but, or not but, I'm so blessed and life and God has given me so much, afforded me so much, allowed me so much to just continue to thrive even when I don't feel like I'm thriving or don't, I don't feel like thriving. People are still, those people that are important and care about me and love on me are still there even when I feel like, you know, nobody else is. Or sometimes when I don't feel like anybody's there, I then have random people, not random, they're there for a reason. Like everyone in my life is here for a reason. I very much value them and appreciate them and love them for just randomly thinking about me, randomly 
sending me a random ass meme about nothing but it's hilarious i don't know i just life is just i'm just learning a new normal that i thought i was learning a year ago until i realized a couple days ago that i was not this is a hot mess um and so yeah so like i said i'm just excited to see what 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 is to come and i intend on making more videos I actually have a week coming in because my birthday is on sunday so yeah so i'm just i'm just on a new journey of figuring out my next life plan and and i think the thing is like sure god might laugh at our plans but we need to plan things out like i don't know about y'all but i need to have a plan like things need to make sense for me like i can't just be stagnant i can't especially especially when i had a plan had a whole plan mapped out and none of that plan is going to fruition now because my mom's not here um so now i just have to come up with a new plan and and yeah um it's this should be should be pretty entertaining to say the least but nevertheless guys i appreciate you for listening to my video today that's not a good outro <laughs> Try that again. <laughs> Unless, guys, that was my rant. <laughs> that was my, ex which I'm hoping I edited this down good enough to for it to be a good amount of time, but not too much time. But anywho, click that subscribe button. It's free. I'll be throwing out some more content soon. Um, go follow me on my social media. So it should be down below. They might be on the screen. I don't know how much I feel like it in this video. Um, but yeah. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.